Hello, I'm Richard Lowes and welcome to the third video blog of the Heat Incumbency and Transformations project. This video blog is released alongside our working paper which looked to develop a working definition of incumbency. In this video blog I'll give a brief overview of what we said in that paper. As I described in the previous video blog, the UK's current system for heat, which is based on fossil fuels and high levels of heat demand, has to be transformed to a heat system which uses much lower levels of energy and relies much more on renewable and lower carbon sources of heat. In the context of large system transformations, as is seen to be required for the UK's heat sector, there is a recognition that incumbency, or the role of incumbent companies or actors, is particularly important in affecting transitions and transformations. However, up to now, no one has really tried to define incumbency in the context of sustainable transformations. And that's what we try and do in our working paper and explain in this video blog. Within the literature on sustainable transformations and sustainable change, researchers have considered incumbent energy regimes, incumbent business models, incumbent regimes, incumbent technologies, incumbent actors, incumbent discourses, incumbent firms, and incumbent interests. But in all of these cases, none of these authors have actually defined what they mean by incumbency. In order to develop a working definition of incumbency, we took an approach which investigated what incumbency means across various different fields where the term is often used. Firstly, we considered what the economics and business literature said about incumbency. Quite simply, this literature suggested that a company is incumbent or something is incumbent if it's already in a place in a market, it's already active and it's already got sunk assets. There was also a suggestion that incumbent companies could have some sort of market power. We then considered what incumbency means in the politics literature. And much like in the economics and business literature, in the politics literature, being an incumbent implies that a person or government is already in power and as such has some sort of advantage over non-incumbents. We finally considered understandings of incumbency from the innovation literature. And in this literature, incumbency can relate to two things. Firstly, it can relate to a specific technology, so a technology that's already there. And secondly, it can also relate to a specific company, so an incumbent company which is responsible for that incumbent technology. From our literature review, we synthesised a number of ideas or characteristics of what is seen to make companies or act as incumbents. The first characteristic was that to be an incumbent, you simply had to exist or be in a place within the market. The second characteristic was linked to old and new technologies, an old technology being an incumbent technology if it was the main technology which was currently in place. The third characteristic was linked to the size of a company, with the suggestion that larger companies were more likely to be incumbent. And the fourth characteristic was linked to temporality, this idea that old companies are incumbent because of their long existence and the fact that they're very connected within the system. Our working paper, in which we have attempted to define incumbency in the context of sustainable transformations, is now on the UKIRK website and the link is in the information below this video. In this paper, we've developed a definition of incumbency on which we would be extremely pleased to receive comments. We define incumbency in the context of sustainable transformations as the presence of existing actors within a specific socio-technical system. An incumbent will be currently active in the socio-technical system or a part thereof and therefore likely to be or have been involved in unsustainable practices. Incumbents have the economic social or technological capacity to influence system change. Well, thank you for joining me for this video blog. As I say, our paper is now up online and we'd be very pleased to receive any comments. Thanks, bye.